Hey, what's up guys? Grant Collins here. I'm a cybersecurity student who recently just completed a cybersecurity internship. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I got my internship and then the three, the three different ways I see the best, most efficient way of getting an internship. So without further ado, let's get started. So how did I get my internship? A lot of people have been wondering. Not really. I got my internship through networking. Uh, basically, all I did was I, uh, a few years ago, I wanted to stretch out my opportunities. I really wanted to get an internship. I didn't want to really have like a, just a general summer job. And so I started to stretch out my network. Um, I used different uh, people within my network. I reached out. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, I went through through my parents. I said, said I said, do you, do you guys know anyone in information security? Um, and I went around different uh, different friends, family, and I was really determined to get an internship. Fortunately, I was able to uh, find someone within my network. There is uh, someone who was kind of close to that I was close to uh, who knew the. IT department kind of. I was able to have an interview with this uh, this this department, and I was luckily able to uh, get the uh, the opportunity to intern at this company. Now, basically, that is the method that I used to get my internship. I didn't have any specific fancy way of like applying online. I basically just used my networking. Uh, I used my network to my advantage, and I really wanted I really wanted an internship. The, the the summer the summer that I wanted to so I, uh, I that's how I used it that's how I got it that's how I got my internship the three different ways that you can get an internship let's start with number one which is school kind of going off the idea of networking I think school whether you are in high school or you are in university or you're in a community college or in a technical trade school or you're thinking about going to school whatever it is I think school provides a fantastic opportunity to not only network with students your age and the professors, but oftentimes universities uh, kind of work with companies within their local area. Uh, they have these relationships where uh, they will be able to basically send students out to these companies, you know, maybe the top five students, whatever, and you are able to get an internship opportunity with these companies. At least here uh, down in Southeast, they have a few companies that they work with uh, where companies say, hey, we want your top two students, and then they work as an intern for the summer. Uh, so school kind of provides that great opportunity to network and, and maybe take advantage of one of those relationships between uh, the, your career services center or whatever. And, um, and really, it's a great idea if you are someone who is it's just like, you know, you don't know where to start. School can be a great opportunity to look into and see what, what's going on. Number two is what the strategy that I used, which was utilizing your local network. Basically, uh, utilizing your own local network, uh, starting out with, I would say, just start out with your parents. If you're of my age, start out with your parents uh, or start out with uh, some family friends maybe and then just start from there. Use those people as pivot points for anywhere. It doesn't have to be someone who's in uh, IT security specifically. It can be someone who's just in an IT. Or even if it's not someone that you know in IT and there's no one in your network who knows IT, then try using what I used. I used kind of the person who was in HR or the person who was in a different department as leverage, as a pivot point to the IT department. I think that's a great idea, and uh, I think it's some, some, something that you should really take into consideration. I know that networking isn't necessarily uh, something that you would always want to do, especially as a cybersecurity student uh, who may be maybe a little bit socially intimidated, but it basically depends on how bad you want it, and if you want it that bad, utilizing your local network is a fantastic uh, solution to this problem, I guess. Number three is conferences and meetups. Whether it's a local conference or meetup, or it's like a national conference like DEF CON or Black Hat, uh, going to different local meetups and conferences can be a really great way to at least introduce yourself to the community of people. Again, these conferences don't have to be cybersecurity specific. They can just be general IT, maybe even networking side or the software development side. It doesn't have to be just IT security. Of course, it'd be great if it's IT security, but uh, don't limit yourself. Don't constrain yourself just to IT security. 
when it comes to uh, going to these conferences and meetups, try to meet new people uh, and try to find ways to uh, just introduce yourself. Of course, you don't want to go up to someone and be like, hi, uh, my name is Grant. Do you have any IT internships, IT security specifically? You don't really want to probably do that. Introducing yourself, uh, getting yourself familiar within the industry, and maybe even building some rapport with these people can be a great idea uh, when it comes to getting an internship. Those are my three strategies when it comes to getting internships in cybersecurity. I've done a video, or I'm doing a video, it will be up in the description below on my resume as a cybersecurity intern, and you can take a look at that. It's not really complex or anything. I like to keep everything very simple. Uh, so if you're interested in the resume portion of it, go check out that video, link in the cards. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing, and I wish you the best of luck on your internship endeavors. Until the next time, have a good day.